year by the school and council, starting with a lack of consultation, leading on to shrill statements to the media, and culminating in this disproportionate and unjust injunction, a course of action that the council did not use against the EDLA, the FLA, Britain First, or any other number of fascists. Instead, an injunction has been applied to peaceful protesters. As parents, we have been under a huge amount of emotional stress. Due to this behaviour and intolerance shown to us by both the school and the council, parents have been reduced to tears at the way they have been described and treated. All the school has to do is get off its high horse and talk to parents. Mm, that's, that's, that's all about. That's all agitation is about. So yes, when you know then, then, you need to, this, then you need to get in touch with the parents, get the details what's happening in those two schools where there's a problem. There are many other schools in here. There's no problem in any other school. So, you need to know the facts first. Do you think this element of fear for any of those children whose parents might be gay or lesbian or, or, or trans and, what, and, and the teachers? So, so if, if our faiths have this mutual compassion, if we're built on love and decency, I get that, I get that. The parents want ha, have these concerns. We totally agree with that. But, if, but if, we're, if, if, if in protesting you're creating a kind of hostile environment where people are fearful, it like should, the staff and the parents not, and kids. It should not have come up to the point where parents needed to be, but we'll love because the law gives, gives them right and that law uh, put a responsibility on the schools to consult with the parents when they when they right. try to, you know, set this, this sort of curriculum. Right. But this was not done, that's why this old... But you know, started, so thank you very much, so I think that's enough. But there needs to be a parents, compassionate response, oh, yeah, 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 and, and people's parents shouldn't be fearful. And at the minute, yes, kids with course, gay parents must be really way, scared. In the same way the Muslim parents or any other opinion of uh, community parents, they should not have the fear. But we've got to work uh, to defeat fear, this isn't so the way to defeat this fear. Is, this is equal for everybody. Yeah, I agree very much. And this isn't well, the way we to do it. Agree on the same thing. But we've got to stop so the, just, host, the hostile just, just, the the engagement. Yeah. Stop the meeting outside, protesting outside school days. Start was talking to people. Stop because the school was not listening to them. That's no. why they had to. They tried everything. So you, you ask the details because I'm, uh, I was not involved and I'm not involved in, the, in, in that campaign. So you ask the parents. They were not listened. That's why they had no choice to uh, to take this. There's always a choice to be more exactly. loving and compassionate. There's, there's always no an option. Nobody hates no, no I, want, I want all parents to be listened to without a doubt. I think that's where we need to focus. And I just think. Um, if you're a kid with a gay parent and you see and you see these protests, you create a, a fear. Um, and if you're a teacher who's gay, or if you've got family members who are, I, I just think we're losing any decency. And there's got to be a better way than the way we're currently doing it. You know, we've got to seek compassion first. For, for all for the parents who aren't nervous as well. I get I'm a parent. I get you can get nervous about things if you don't fully understand them. Um, but I just think we're creating a hostility and, and an element of fear for anyone who's gay. Um, and that's wrong. Do you support the injunction against the protesters then? Um, oh, it's really complex. Um, it's really nuanced. I, I personally, I, I, I support them creating a situation where those, those staff who must feel really burnt out, those head teachers who must feel really burnt out, the parents of um, any parents who are gay or have relations um, who are gay from those schools, they must feel terrified. So I support anything that makes them feel safe. I know that's not a straight yes or no answer. But I'm all for creating a safe environment, especially in schools. I'm, I'm well up for protest. Everyone has, has freedom of speech and should be allowed to protest and raise their concerns. But I do think schools, we've got to create a safe space for children. And I just think, you know, we know that people have grown up who have been gay and committed suicide because they felt it's not right. They've been told they're not right, that they're, they're, that they are wrong in who they are. Um, and we can't have that here. We can't have any of those kids who might feel that inside who in the future might think that they're attracted to someone of the same sex to, to, to carry this fear inside them. And, yeah. But what do you think, when is the right age to know like, if you are attracted to the, the same gender is okay? So I, don't, I don't know, but I do know that the right age to know that love is love, the right age to know that it's okay to have parents and relations who love each other and are of the same sex. Is any age, my kids are six and eight, and 
we were at my friend's wedding on on Saturday. Uh, there were two women, and when we told my kids we were going to that, which was like a year ago, they just said, "Is it because they love each other?" And we said, "Yes." My kids get it, and we haven't done any kind of like teaching on, on it. They just get that love is love. You know, those two adults love each other, and then any kid should be okay to get that. Kids understand love on a really deep level, um, and that's what this is about.